Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have all three Series 9 Mix or Maxes. So we have the Blue and Black Newsers Max on the left, the Ancient Orange and Black Ninjads Max in the middle, and the Green Trashos Max on the right. And they all look cool and crazy, which is what we like to see with Mix or Maxes. And if you'd like to make these maxes like we have, you can get the instructions on the Mixel section of the LEGO website. But we do feel it's a shame LEGO couldn't put the max instructions in the packets to make it easier to build for fans. But now let's move on and check out each max up close. And starting with the Newsers Max, it looks good and it's taken up all three roles of the tribe members into this one silly looking monster. And you can see parts of Mike and Camster in it with a little bit of Screeno. And its ball jointed feet are simply created with sloped bricks and pieces with a white toe piece with grey joystick and they're quite long to keep it stable which is good for display and play and they're very flexible. And if we move up the Max has one of these mixed TV tiles in the centre which is good detail with the red lights and clear tiles. And this Max has two arms and its left arm is very flexible with a ball joint connection and hinge connection and the claw hand is a great creation with the three black claw fingers with yellow spiky ends which were Mike's legs on the Mixel. And these fingers are easy to move for play and hold the microphone screeno hat so that Max can still report the news. And on the back of its arm it's got blue tiles to bulk it out which is good. And the Max's right arm is actually Mike's microphone accessory with the clipped on grey rod piece and black cylinder brick microphone head. And it's an okay simple arm to add on and a useful recording tool. And if we come back to the middle, its mouth has spiky teeth on the bottom and top and inside its mouth it's got a big red tongue. And the top mouthpiece is ball jointed so you can chomp it down for play too and we always love that play feature. And the top part of the head has this one ball eye clip to Camster's silver lens piece, giving the Max a Cyclops silly look. And from the side you can see how the head is just like Camster's black camera, with the bricks and pieces building it up, with added side light and bar pieces on top for a camera grip. And we think it's a shame they weren't a bit more creative by making something new and different. And for one last extra they have this rotating helicopter rotor on the back courtesy of Camster and it completes the Max's look nicely and there's some handy yellow clips above this which you could use for accessory storage. And that's the Newsers Max and it's a solid Max with a good Cyclops eye and moving monster mouth. But we do feel it could have been a bit more creative because it looks like they use Camster's head with Mike's microphone piece. However, its claw arm's very nice and it could easily report and film the news like an all-in-one news machine. And next up is the Ninjas Max which looks awesome and it reminds us of a Chinese New Year dragon and we love the look. And if we start at its feet it's got two ball jointed brick built feet which are a similar size to the Newsers Max but with spiky teeth pieces for toes creating some dragon feet. And above these its body has orange and black plates building up its armour with Cobrax's two ninja forks clipped into weapon holders like he's got two holsters. And compared to its head and body the Max has these two puny ball jointed arms with clip hands to hold its silver swords it's got from Spinza and they're good weapons. And now we have the best part, it's massive dragon head, which is impressive, and it's next very poseable. And on each side it's got a good design with sloped tiles, and the round plate creates a sort of cheek. And its mouth has a movable bottom jaw with two spiky teeth on top, and white clips below with the red snake clipped in for a tongue, which was taken from Cobrax. And it's great to move the mouth for chomping, and the Nixels had better watch out. And on the top of its head it's got those white whisker pieces from Maisto and two grey studded nostrils. And then there's a brick built dark grey snout with the smooth orange and black sloped head pieces with eyes clipped either side. And they've simply created two ears by clipping black rubber spiky pieces behind the eyes and it looks good. And at the back of its head is the orange slope piece for extra detail to finish its dragon head. And under this is a clip for maybe its weapons. And at the bottom is the ball jointed flexible tail which must have been inspired by Cobraxes and it's built from black sloped tiles with the orange claw piece at the end and it balances the dragon out. And that's the Ninjas Max and we love the overall oriental dragon look of the Max with stable feet and body to hold its really well designed head which has lots of teeth, a snake tongue and eyes either side and this is one of the best Maxes Lego have made for some time and we love it. 
And last up, it's that Trasho's Max, which, like the tribe, is ready to clean the Mixopolis streets, and it looks like a street sweeping vehicle, which is cool. And unlike the other Maxes, it's got wheels either side at the front instead of legs, and there's ball jointed slope brick stabilizers at the back made from Gobble's trolley wheels. And these help it roll around, which is great for play. And back at the front, its body has got these light grey grille bricks for front sweepers with slope green plates covering them. And above this, you've got its yellow hazard lights with grille pieces, all adding to its vehicle look. And clipped on for arms, they couldn't resist giving the Max these rotating green brushes, which sweeps uses and extended them with an extra ball joint connection, and they should add to play. And behind these arms are two more smaller ball jointed ones with the shovel and brush clipped on, but they're not as flexible but add to the Max's overall look. And if we come back to the front, its head's very big with lots of teeth on its bottom jaw and three teeth on its top jaw. And it also has a cute look with the small eyes clipped on yellow and green tiles and two small black ears behind, a bit like a cat. And the top part of the head is clipped on so you can chomp down, as you can see. And inside it's got quite a big mouth with dark green grill pieces, yellow lights and slope plates decorating it. And in the centre is a hole for storing all its trash like the fishes and glass it's collected. And that's a good storage solution. And if we come around the side of its head, it has a rounded finish with clips for accessories. And right at the back is the grey flap, which we think is an extra stabiliser. And that completes the Trashos Max, and if you need a great green street cleaner, this guy's who you call. And we love its brush arms it inherited from sweeps, and the giant head with cute face and storage mouth adds to its playability and look, and it's a fun Max to drive around. On a final note, all three Series 9 Maxes are great and have their own unique special play features and looks. But for us, the Ninjads Max is the best because they continued the tribe's ninja theme by creating a dragon which looks great and it's very creative. Whereas the other Maxes are more like bigger versions of their Mixels with a few extras built in, but they still look great and are fun to play with. And if you have a tribe, we'd always recommend building the Max. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK LEGO review. Don't forget to check out our channel for more reviews and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.